what? <laughs> you can't be serious. So it's no secret to anybody who knows anything about my channel or how I format my videos that my format of talking over video game footage is not mine, meaning I didn't come up with it. And to be honest, I actually have no idea who came up with it. And for all I know, the first person to use this format to make content could be a complete degenerate weirdo. Like the dude in middle school who actually thought it was Riz to go up to girls, ask them to pull his finger, and then literally fart on the spot. And then after shockingly getting rejected by that girl, he goes and watches a philosophical Jordan Peterson video where he ponders the fundamental realities in which we live. So while I don't know the person who first did this format, I do know that Leafy is here was the person who made this gameplay commentary whole thing popular in the first place. I'm sexy and I know it. There was a time where people just watched Leafy talk over CSGO Surf gameplay about any random topic, and it was pretty cool. Now, it's uh, pretty obvious that I used to watch this guy, or else, like, you know, how would I be doing this if I didn't watch his videos at least a little bit? I think they were very funny. Obviously, he was controversial back in the day. He crossed the line a lot, and no question that none of what he was posting back then would fly on YouTube today. I don't like Ethan Klein, but he was definitely correct in this clip. You know, I, I would love... People saying oh leafy come back i would love to see leafy come back and try to exist in the landscape today like the content that he was making would never fly on youtube today and you have to adapt and overcome the fact that like mm -hmm. you can't even curse bro like like Anyway, after 2016 through 2017, Leafy kind of quit the internet for two years, came back in 2020 during COVID, made a bunch of videos on Pokimane, had a bit of a second blow up, and then he was terminated on YouTube for his videos on Pokimane, as YouTube deemed them to be harassment. That's why when I was making my videos on Pokimane, I was being very careful to not go too far because I didn't want to get banned. Anyway, Leafy tried to return a few times on YouTube under different names, but each time he tried, his account will get banned pretty quickly. I'm not going to bore you guys on a history lesson, especially if you already know what's happened with this guy. The current deal is it's 2023, and he recently, earlier this year, got an exclusive streaming contract with Rumble, which I actually stream on Rumble sometimes, and I think the platform has a future. I don't know if it's going to be the next YouTube. It definitely won't, but I, I think it's cool. And he shifted his content away from the typical gameplay commentary stuff that he got famous off of, which is basically what I do now, into mostly live streams, which is what he does now. He's practically become a streamer, and although the numbers will tell you that he's fallen off, right? Like, he had almost 5 million subs on YouTube, and now his Rumble account has, like, 37,000 uh, subscribers. Although 37,000 is a pretty big decrease from 5 million, you have to adjust for the fact that Rumble's a much smaller platform, and, you know, he's still not doing too bad in terms of views on Rumble. I mean, his streams, some of them have over 100,000 views, and while he's live streaming, he'll get anywhere from 3,000 to, in some cases, 10,000 live viewers, which is pretty good. Like, that's really good, compared that to Twitch streamers who get like 50,000? Yeah, it's one fifth of the size, but it's still really good. It's competitive. And all of this is off the heels of basically two years of inactivity, almost three years of inactivity from this guy. Like, he just decided, okay, I want to come back to the internet, got a deal with Rumble, got a huge bag off of it, and is now streaming to 10,000 people on some nights. I mean, if you're him, yeah, I guess technically you fell off, but you know, why would you complain? Why would you be upset? I wouldn't be upset. I'd be happy go lucky. His streams, too, are super low production quality. It's literally just him on his laptop. You using OBS display capture with no webcam and a basic stream chat overlay. Anyway, you may not know any of that, and you may just know Leafy from the fact that he's recently become kind of viral on Twitter for just, like, saying that he hates gay people. Leafy's account was suspended on Twitter, I don't know how long ago, but he was one of the people that Elon Musk unbanned, you know, when he took over the platform. So Leafy gets his 850k follower Twitter account back, and what does he do? <laughs> He just starts tweeting some of the most controversial shit ever. I don't think I can read these tweets uh, because of, like, YouTube's guidelines and stuff, but I'll just probably show you some of them with, like, censors. Like, for example, his pinned tweet is literally just, like, F gay people. This has 85,000 likes and 16.5 million impressions, so people are seeing this guy. Now, obviously, there's plenty of people on Twitter, you know, because it's Twitter especially, there's people responding to him, you know, clowning on him, roasting him, whatever. And if I'm being fully honest, I don't know if Leafy actually, like, thinks that about gay people or if he's just tweeting that to get the views that he knows he'll get. A part of me strongly believes that this is a grift, like, 
he's just trying to maintain relevance because he's back, he's streaming, like he is back on the internet, this is his job again. And if he could just keep finding ways to be in the spotlight, whether that's for a good reason or for a bad reason, it's almost always a bad reason, that it's just gonna help him in some way or another. I would assume the way that he's looking at it is that he has 16 million impressions. Even if 15 million of the people that see that tweet don't like it, out of the 1 million people that do like it, they're gonna like follow him or I don't know, like him or maybe even watch his stream. The sort of any publicity is good publicity angle. Now, while he may think any publicity is good publicity, I really can't understate how much this guy is being clowned on. Some of the clowning is a little bit like, okay, you're reaching, bro. But all of it, I think, is like totally fair. Because like this guy's whole career was basically off like, you know, making fun of people. And he's allowed to do that. I thought some of it was funny. But at the bare minimum, you have to kind of like expect that you're going to get made fun of too. And couple that with the fact that you're just like saying this stuff about gay people on Twitter. And Twitter is like one of the biggest social media platforms that like, you know, gay people use. Like, yeah, you're gonna get major pushback, my dude. You are going to get roasted. Now, listen, personally, I don't really care about these tweets. Like, yeah, they're offensive, they're mean, and obviously I'm biased, like, I'm not gay or anything. But yeah, I understand that there's, like, a lot of people that don't like him, and I get why. I'm not gonna try to, like, you know, convert people that don't like him into fans or anything. I've called him on stream a few times, and I've played CSGO with him. I think at the end of the day, he's just a troll. I honestly think, like, most of what he posts is just, like, reaction bait. It's just, like, please respond to what I'm saying. I'm saying something crazy, please respond. So, you know, I don't really support what he's saying on Twitter, but I'm also not going to make like a 10 minute video saying Leafy thinks gay people are bad. Look guys, he said it on Twitter. Cancel him. You know, he shouldn't say that. Like, yeah, I mean, he probably shouldn't say that, but he doesn't care. He's getting views and it's not like it's a secret or anything. Like I wouldn't be telling you guys something that you didn't know. Like the whole thing back in December with Jaden, you know, hating Christians and saying that like, oh yeah, Christians are delusional and they need mental health and they're like, you know, the worst people ever. First of all, I didn't make an entire video on that that was part of a much bigger video. Second of all, a lot of people didn't know that Jaden was saying this stuff, so it was like, okay, my video actually serves a purpose to, like, show people this. So for this Leafy thing, I feel like the 16 million people that are seeing his tweets, like, by the time I make a video about it, they're already gonna know, so it's like, what am I gonna say? Anyway, though, I wanna just focus on specifically something that happened a few nights ago, where Leafy posted a new recent selfie of him, because he hadn't posted a selfie in a long time. His face has kind of been not shown since 2020. So after he returned, there was a bit of confusion, and after all these tweets he's made that are super controversial, people want to see what this guy looks like. This guy is getting 16 million views saying he doesn't like gay people. What does this guy look like? I want to roast him. I want to make fun of the way he looks because that's what he used to do, and I want to do it back. And well, these people got what they wanted because last night or a few nights ago, I don't even know, he posted this recent selfie. <laughs> Come on, man. Can I get a TBH plus rate? Do you guys think I'm ugly? Be honest. Do you think I'm ugly? Good night. Say it back. Look, man, not to get too fat phobic in this video, but it's pretty obvious that Leafy has indulged in some quality DoorDash orders. Love to see this guy's DoorDash history. You know he's got that premium pass. You just know he's texting the driver on the way with his McDonald's order like, yo, dog, do you accept a tip in the form of like a steam trade? Now, I'm not bringing this up just to like say, oh, hey, guys, look at Leafy. Remember back in 2016 when he was younger and skinny and now he's older and a bit chubbier? That's hilarious. It's hysterical. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a little funny. 100%. Make all the Uber Eats, you know, jokes that you want. To me, though, the most interesting part is that after he, like, kind of did this re-face reveal and now people know what he looks like currently, people are just making fun of the way he looks. Now, don't get me wrong, I have no issue with that in terms of, like, a should-you-be-allowed-to-do-it standpoint. 100%, go ahead, right? Like, I've made fun of Gorlock the Destroyer multiple times on this channel. Do whatever you want. But to me, it's pretty interesting that, like, you know, most of these Twitter users that are going after Leafy because of the way he looks, a lot of these people, if you click on their profiles, they have some sort of, like, tweet record of being socially conscious or, like, or doing some sort of, like, or doing some sort of progressive virtue signaling. The people that say respect people's pronouns, respect people's identities, respect people's bodies, and stuff like that, these people are all completely able with ease to throw all of those principles out the window when it comes to Leafy because he's tweeted some mean stuff. And I'm not saying they can't make fun of the way he looks or anything like that, but it's just like wildly hypocritical. Like to these people, their rule is basically that you can't call this person ugly and fat, but you can call this person ugly and fat. It just sort of like, you know, at least be consistent with your moral 
moral standards or like, you know, what you stand for. I'm not gonna bring up like any specific accounts or anything because I don't want the smoke. I don't want to make it about one person, but if you just check Twitter yourself, you'll see the trend. Plus, I don't want to spend too much time editing this video. Like, this will be a quick one. I've been making jokes about it too over on my Twitter. I'm like, I tried calling Leafy, but he said he was busy and sent me this. Like, like look at those fat legs, bro. It's not real. Those aren't actually his legs, but I think this image is hilarious. Anyway, this was kind of going viral the other day, and obviously Leafy follows me, I've talked to him before, and you know, obviously there's a lot of history with my content and what he does, so I figured I'd talk about it today, just kind of get my thoughts on the entire thing, and if you guys ended up enjoying this video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're at all new, and I'll see you guys all in the next video, comment down your thoughts, goodbye.